Once again, this is Prince Dice here, the Royal Financial Investment Group, coming to you guys live from Japan. And today, it's a different episode. But before I jump into that, you know, let's jump into the whole reason video. As you guys probably already seen in the description, today we're going to do a Netflix earnings prediction. So a Netflix earnings prediction, you know, they're coming out with their four quarter earnings coming out here in about, what, two days? And today I have a special guest for the first time ever. Having a guest, you guys never seen me with anybody else on my uh, YouTube channel. Over 200 some videos and years of YouTube. This is my first guest here. This uh Robbie Herbst here. He's going to give you his insight. So we're just going to go through it. So I don't have a lot of time. And I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So we're going to jump straight into it. So Netflix earnings, what is your take? Uh, I'm I'm a little embarrassed. Things are down. Uh -huh. Um. I don't like the, uh, I think they're over-exaggerating the uh, domestic uh, subscribers. Uh -huh. I don't think they're going to get as many as they think. Um, I like the international, though, uh, but they're not going to be on this fourth quarter report. Um, I know they, uh, they're they going to a lot more countries than they planned to originally, mm -hmm. at least right off the bat. Um, but they're also putting a lot of cash up front, uh, which I don't think is a good thing. Um, I've noticed they're... Uh, their debt's going up and their cash is going down. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, so pretty much you're saying that due to the whole them trying to expand, that they are accumulating more debt onto their books. Yes, they're accumulating too much too quickly. Okay. So the, the subscribers, you know, the big thing that all the bulls are going to think that you're obviously, you know, you're bearish. The big thing that a lot of the bulls are, going, are saying is that well, look, they're into 130 countries. Look at this expansion. So what do you have to say about, you know, now them open up to so many markets and by, you know, it's being Netflix, the only way Netflix makes their money is by subscribers. You know, they don't have ratings. You know, a lot of TV shows, the higher the ratings, the more money you get from uh, advertisers. But Netflix's biggest streaming income is subscribers. So with this going into 130 countries, 130 countries, and expanding around the world, how would you say this is not going to affect the amount of subscribers? Uh, it's going to affect the amount of international subscribers. But if you look at the charts for the first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter, mm -hmm. uh, the first quarter and second quarter, they went up. The domestic uh, subscribers met, and the stock went up. And then when the third quarter came out, their domestic did meet, and the stock went down. Okay. I'm looking to see the uh, same thing for this uh, fourth quarter. So you're saying pretty much domestic is not going to meet. Correct. So why you don't think domestic would meet? Um, you don't just you just don't hear people go and say, oh, I'm gonna go get Netflix. They either already have it. Yeah. Uh, they're using cousins, families, uh, parents, or friends. Um, they're not going out and actively doing it um, or getting themselves. There's also uh, you have uh, Couch Tuner and Hulu and Amazon Prime, which there are other uh, companies that have just as good quality. Okay, I can see that because you know. Walking around, you don't see too many, you know, it, it, it does put you in the question of Netflix has gotten so big domestically, like, how can it possibly grow? I don't know too many people saying, hey, I'm going to go get Netflix, or hey, I'm going to go buy Netflix. So that could be a problem, because domestic growth was a big hit that it took last quarter, you know, by not being able to meet domestic growth was a, a big thing that the uh, investors didn't like. And I think this uh, quarter, they're talking about doing about, about $5 million or something like that for this particular quarter, and I had the same question, like, okay, so where do these subscribers come from? Because, like, you know, in the States itself, like, who is saying, hey, I'm I'm sold, I'm going to go get Netflix? So I, I would agree with that, you know, that I don't think that the uh, subscribers for Netflix uh, this quarter is going to be, uh, it's going to grow by 5 million. I'd be very surprised. Now, let me tell you guys something that you guys probably already know. I am, like, old for four on guessing Netflix's earnings. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about Netflix earnings, but it's a it's a it's a tough cookie because uh, as you can see when we look at the you know the financial reports, we look at everything. It's you know it's kind of hard to grade because it's not your typical um, X Y Z company funding you know finance and stuff like that. Netflix the biggest thing is subscribers, subscribers getting more and more and more subscribers, and that sometimes makes it a little uh, a little difficult at times. So overall, you're bearish. Myself, I'm with you. I agree as well. If I had to take a call, I would say I would be bearish as well. So now, if you think it's going to be bearish, what would be your prediction? Like, how how can somebody profit from a, a bearish move? 
Um, I haven't done Netflix before. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm new. Um, I know he's over four. He's gonna be <laughs> over five. <laughs> so if um, you listen to me, you probably should go buy some calls. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, probably one or two on each side. Uh huh. Um, just to, so I don't lose big. Um, but if it does move a lot and I, I make two, three hundred percent, I'm okay with that. Um, okay. I'll get it right, whether it's up or down. Okay. So the biggest thing I want to take away from this guy, I'm, you know, um, like I always say, I'm not recommending you guys to buy anything. It's a disclaimer. I'm not recommending anything. This is just commentary pretty much talking about a stock because I know a lot of you guys like to see videos where I talk about a particular uh, company, the earnings before it comes out, what are we seeing, what are we looking for. So I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more. It's 2016, change up a little bit, you know, put my face in front of the camera, you know, bring on other people, hear what they have to say about it and stuff like that. So we're not recommending you buy anything. It's just to give you a little insight, educational purposes, and, you know, commentary purposes or whatever to hear about a particular hot topic that, you know, is going to be all over the media here in about two or three days. So we'll let you guys know beforehand. A lot of people are going to come out. Once the earnings come out, they're going to say all type of crazy stuff about what they knew, what they did, or whatever. But, you know, this is where you can give us a report card to say, hey, this is what came out. This is what these guys said before. All that good stuff. So, anyway, like you said, he feels bearish about it. You know, it's a hard take to take. I'm 0 for 4 on it. This is just one stock that I just can't seem to just knit in the butt right. But, uh, anything else you want to say, Mr. Herbs, about uh, Netflix and earnings? Um, they're the overall international, or the overall subscribers, I think it's going to go up. Um, mm-hmm. but when you break it down to international and domestic, I think domestic is going to miss, even if the international subscribers pick up the slack, the domestic might not miss, mm-hmm. or, or the domestic might not make. Uh, but I, I, I think they're, uh, they're overall, their subscribers are going to go up, exceed expectations. Um, I just don't think the domestic is going to going to hit. Yeah, that, that, and, I, and I would agree with that. That makes uh, perfectly good sense because going to 130 countries, um, you know, you go into a place, you open up a market that you never were in, never was in, of course, you know, your numbers are going to go up. But, uh, you know, domestically, like we said, we already spoke about domestic, but sometimes, you know, what can rally the stock is some people get so caught up with the international that they say, hey, they may not look at domestic, they may overlook and say, hey, they added over 8 million subscribers internationally and that can get a lot of investors excited so it's a double-edged sword in a way so give you guys something to think about what we kind of looked at we spoke about debt to equity ratio we spoke about you know netflix itself is subscriber base we spoke about you know subscribers how to profit from a move and we gave you guys what we thought so anything that you want to say mr Herbs? i'm good good luck <laughs> yeah good luck uh don't forget to like subscribe comment and share all of the good stuff leave me some of your comments let me know what you guys think But as always, until the next video, you guys already know what to do. Be safe.